that's not good. That's better. How is everyone? I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Little late this morning, sorry. You know, <laughs> it's a bank holiday here. So I was a bit, a little, a little later getting up than I might have um, otherwise been. So I've just realised there's a lump in my, on my mat. Don't like a lump. What is causing it? Oh, it might be that. Okay. So yes, did everyone have a good Christmas? Um, not sure how many of you will join me today because it is, you know, soon after Christmas. But we're playing with new things. Morning Claire, morning Jan from Florida. Guessing you're still on um, vacation from work. I have to choose the right words. I know you're. I know you used to live in England, so all is good. Um, if I say things like you're on holiday, but um, let me just. That's weird. So I've not got my notification. That I. Oh, I have now. That's all right then. So yes, did you all have a good Christmas? Something looks odd and I don't... A, can you hear me all right? And B, can you see me all right? Because it looks very dark on my screen, which it doesn't normally. But yes, if you could let me know, that would be jolly helpful um, while I have a, sup, a sip of coffee. Mm. <sighs> and relax. So... Let me just pop a, pop a note up. Please let me know if you can see and hear me okay. Morning, Margaret. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Jan. Lovely. I'm glad you can see and hear me. All good, Claire. Thank you. So I'm using stuff from the new catalogue, the new mini catalogue. Um, and I'm using Hello Beautiful um, and the matching Beautiful Shapes dies, which I will show you properly in a moment. I have done some die cutting, um, but that's about it this morning. It was a lazy morning, not helped by the fact that fortunately I did check my computer and it needed a reboot but I checked it an hour and a half ago so it had time to do its fun but it still looks really dark on my screen oh well hey ho it's obviously something to do with my computer it's fine so I'm going to start with a bit of housekeeping because that's always good so I'm a UK based stamping up demonstrator using stamping up products it is my business not just a hobby it's a hobby as well um, so if you're in the UK or France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands and you wish to purchase anything, that would be fan dabby dozy. Um, today is Tuesday, that much I know, the 28th of December. Uh, I am streaming live. If you are with me live, you will see in the top left hand corner. Um, a little live button. If you want to ask me any questions, just comment along the way. Uh, that would be great. And I will respond, obviously, as we go. If you're watching a recording and therefore you do not see a live in the top right hand corner, please comment by leaving a comment below the description bar and I will get back to you later. But obviously it won't be the same as if you're joining me live. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, whether you're here live or not, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe, please remember to that way, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. It's always very, because I have to use the other arms. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Nora. So, as I say, I haven't done a huge amount of prep for this because I've been on holiday. Um couple of other housekeeping bits though if you're in the UK and would like my product shares I have given information about that on my website I've also got a video that I need to launch that will give information about that which I will do later today to go live probably tomorrow um, it's because it's a mini catalogue it's not a huge uh, product share this time um, because there's not that much in a mini catalog uh, but I am placing the order on the 4th of January so if you would like that please um, either follow the website or 
drop me an email um, and we can get that sorted out. Coffee. Mm. And that goes, so the new catalogue goes live on the 4th of January if you are a customer. Um, if you are a cust an existing customer of mine, you would have received your catalogue by now and a Christmas gift, sort of, which is around and is all explained in that on the flyer, how to get a discount off a, a purchase in January. Um, but that is only for my existing customers. So... I'm going to flip the camera down. Morning, Rachel. I'm going to flip the camera down like that. Excellent. Um, and get started. So, Beautiful Shapes dies. I've got the one that I've been using. I've got a little pile of die cuts that I've been cutting. I can't show you it in the catalogue, obviously, yet. Um, but it's basically hexagons. So if you're a quilter or know a quilter, this is going to be epic. There's also circles and um, this die, which I think embosses, but we'll be trying it out later. Um, and these dies, which go with the stamping and the sentiment. So there are these splodgy, splodgy die, um, stamps, which being photopolymer is going to be interesting to see how well they stamp um as you can probably tell not prepped anything still as per um but we'll be having a go with some of those later um oh and there's cross stitches so if you do know a quilter and you want to make a um a patchwork for them you could put even put little crosses on the patchwork stitching uh let me just they would be perfect for this size as well. So these have been cut with this die here, which cuts um, two hexagons at once. There's also one that does the uh, the two halves, um, and you can do diamonds and triangles as well. So you can fit things in. I'm just going to be using this. Um, I have used the host set paper. Can't remember what it's called. Pattern Party Designer Series paper, which is the host um, the host set in the annual catalogue, uh, and I've die cut most of the patterns, possibly not all, um, and I've done them. So I've done two of each, but it means therefore that I've got the colour and the black and white, so I can do a real mishmash. And all I'm going to do is add these to a card layer see how we go. I'm going to start with doing a strip across the middle um, and go from there. Now I am going to line this up. Well actually it doesn't matter if I line it up or not because I've got a T rule. T rules are good because they give you a straight line. I'm going, oh, I was going to go landscape. I might go, I might go portrait actually because um, there's nothing worse than watching me just die cut. Jan's going to have to have those. They are gorgeous, Jan. I think they're going to be just a, a staple. Um, be interesting to see if the dies carry over into the annual catalogue. Can't believe I'm thinking about that already when we haven't even launched the mini yet. Anywho, um, so I'm going to go towards the bottom um, and just very gently draw a line, which you won't be able to see because uh, it is very very faint um, but it is there um, and it just means it's got I've got somewhere to start grounding things um, and I've just realized that that's going to be on its side never mind it's fine so all I am going to do is add these with just a little bit of seal and I think I'm going to go do that um, and I think I'm going to go colour and then so I'm going to do a block of colour and then I might come back and fill in with black and white um, I say as I say I have not planned this other than doing the die cutting it was a very very slow morning for me we had friends over for a meal last night and um, it wasn't actually a particularly late night, 
but um, go the other way. Actually, I actually won't use that one. I'm going to use one of these, which is a less obvious pan. Um, it's just, you know, maybe had a little bit too much to drink. Just checking for, oh no, that's the same colour. You can tell I really am not switched on yet, am I? I don't want to have the same sort of tones next to each other. I want this to be more obviously patchwork. Now you could leave a little gap between your um, colours if you wished or your pieces. I'm just going to go straight next to each other because frankly it's easier um, particularly as I am feeling a little tired this morning. So I don't know if I said we were supposed to be having fa uh, family Christmas and unfortunately one of our party came down with Covid so that all got rearranged um, and my immediate family and Martin and I, so my brother and sister-in-law and niece have planned to have Christmas take two um, later in the new year because we thought that would be fun. So yes, so my brother has already ordered a Christmas pudding. We've got to get the turkey sorted out. I will be trimming this down a bit because uh, I don't like this bit with that bit, so it's fine. But in the meantime, I'm going to take this piece and put it the other side. So yes, we're having a repeat of Christmas in the new year, assuming that is permitted come the new year. But at the moment in England, and I'm using that word very advisedly, not the UK, but in England, we have no additional COVID restrictions. Sorry, that's not got glue where it needs glue. Uh, so yes, apart from what we call Plan B, we have no additional COVID restrictions in England. And I even read on the news this morning that there is a suggestion that after Easter, we're just going to go, oh, so you got COVID. Jan is doing a, a delayed Christmas as well. I think I've understood that correctly. So, yes, we've got to get a turkey, which we need to get sooner rather than later. Um, so that we can freeze it. Um, but we thought if we get it, no, I'm going to go darks. I'm going to go blacks. Um, I do need to fill in something there, but we'll come back to that because there'll be some pieces off this end that I can use. Um, so, yes, we need to get a turkey into the freezer because there generally aren't that many turkeys around in January. So, so all I'm really doing is finding a doing a grounding area. So we can then do stuff on top. Oh, now I haven't launched it yet, but I'm going to mention it whilst I remember. Um, those of you who have been with Stamping Up, or you know, as in buying Stamping Up products for a while, will probably remember that we used to have um, coloured. Not sure they will, Leslie, but yeah. Um, I mean, I know you work in a shop, so you probably know better. Anyway, those of you who have been with Stamping Up for a while may remember that we used to do packs of coloured card that went with the paper. Um, so I'm going to be doing them. I'm going to fill that gap uh, because I think that is something that we are missing. So watch for that. Um, I'll be launching it as the catalogue launches, um, but I will be doing packs of paper. Nope, don't want that one there, want it the other way up, and of course I've got glue on it, so that's not going to happen. Um, so yes, I will be filling that gap. So hopefully we'll find that useful. In fact, you can let me know whether you are an existing Stamping Up demonstrator or a customer or whatever. 
would you be interested if you were a customer would you be interested in getting mixed card packs as in colors that go with the designer series paper like we used to do because i would be interested in knowing that right i think i'm going to have to fill this base bit i don't particularly want the black up here although i could be, do half black so i could just cut these in half yeah might do that might do that leslie says yes margaret delayed christmas celebrations so yeah so i only need three one two what's that one that one's we've got that already oh, we haven't got this one right okay so I'm going to fill in, if I fill those in, I can then chop that off and trim it to that size. There is, my brain is working, finally. Claire Wood, I'm a demonstrator, but just for the discount, I think that's a great idea. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, I knew, I think I knew you were a demonstrator. But yeah, I just think it. we're missing a trick. Um, because, as I say, we used to do them, and I, I thought they were a great idea. Um, so I'm going to do them myself. So it's useful to know that people would be interested. And it's a bit like doing a product share. Um, from that point of view... Uh, no, don't want that on. Need to fill this in with a colour. Keep picking up the same colour, expecting it to be different. Ooh, hearts. I could do a I could do a little bit of hearts tucked in there, couldn't I? At a funny angle. Let's at least cut this in half. Um good. Right, well I will be doing that then. So I'm gonna put the glue on there this time. I mean I'll probably end up cutting this away. Ah Um But Let's find the one that's got the hearts vaguely the right way up. There we go. Then I can have that there. As I say, we'll be cutting some of this away, so it's not that vital, but I like to start with everything in place and then come back and take things away. I've got glue where I don't want glue. Um, so, yes, so that's my plan. Watch this space, as they say. That's too similar. That's the same again. Oh, I haven't used that one yet. Right, okay, so we'll cut this one in half. And add some adhesive. So Hubby and I are in the middle of making a jigsaw puzzle that we didn't think was going to be that difficult. We're on about day five. Um, it's, yeah, not as easy <laughs> as we thought it was going to be. Right, I think I do need the halves in there. Possibly. I'll use what I've got. Oh, I haven't used that one. So that would be a good one to use. I don't know why I picked up the wrong scissors, but never mind, they're scissors. So I'll have that one in there. In fact, we might have that one in there because we haven't used it yet. Oh, we haven't used that one either. So let's chop that one too. Let's pick up the right scissors this time. And then all I really want to do after this is think about a sentiment. Um... So, yeah, not a huge amount more to do. And we are just doing one card today because it is a bank holiday. And when I told my husband that I was doing coffee and card this morning, he went, really? So, you know, sometimes there are 
moments when you need to take these things on board. So I think today is one of those moments. And we're hoping to zoom with my brother and sister-in-law later. Hopefully everyone there is doing well. So I've got glue where I don't want glue. Right, okay, so those are spare. That's sticky. So let's throw that away. Get rid of those and bring in a trimmer. So I am going to trim this down, obviously. Otherwise I wouldn't have brought my trimmer in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how... So that's just over a quarter of an inch. That's unhelpful. Okay, so I'm going to trim these bits off the edge that are in the way. Just going to trim those off camera so they end up in a little sticky mess outside here. Right, okay. So I now have straight edges everywhere. So if I trim that, I, if I take three eighths off with a trimming blade rather than a scoring blade, so I can then take three eighths off elsewhere. Ooh, and that almost looks right. Whoa! So it's almost the same amount either side, and I'm going to be fine with almost. Right, so I need a coloured mat. Christmas Day is all over here. They don't do Boxing Day. Oh! Well, I was slightly... Hello, Joe. I was slightly confused that... So the in the leaders group on Facebook, we have a month, uh, a weekly update. And we had one yesterday. And I'm thinking, so in the UK, we've got not only Christmas and Boxing Day this year, but because they fall on a Saturday and a Sunday, we've got bank holiday yesterday and today. So, yeah. That said, the update was ex exciting. Um, I can't really share more than that at the moment, but it was exciting. More new stuff to come. Did I say that? No, I didn't. Right, so I'm going to go Granny Apple Green and Pool Party. Bear with me one moment. Well, I try and find. So we've definitely got Granny Apple Green. And I'm fairly certain I cut some pool party. That'll be pool party. And then uh, I'm going to grab a coloured card and I don't know which one yet. Let's see what we've got. So... Nope. Oh, petal pink's one of the colours. So let's do petal pink. Random. Just saying. Random. Right, okay. So the question is, do we go like that? Or do we go like that? And I think we're going... The first way. So we're going to have Granny Gra Apple Green against Petal Pink. I know. Um, very random. I'm going to trim that down a wee bit. And then I'm going to trim my pool party down a wee bit more. So I'm just taking an eighth and a quarter of an inch off two sides so we get a nice layer then I can tuck that away and what I'm going to do is use inks so Jenny in Australia had yesterday and today's public holidays yep same as us I know Jenny I'm really sorry about that I did see that on Facebook 
so yes Jenny has lost as in not mislaid but lost her cat which is sad yes like that might have to put something here I've ended up with this being very in the middle which I'm not totally happy with just saying that's pale papaya do we have oh that's clever that was really clever of me never mind I will explain why that was really clever of me in a moment um, suffice to say uh, it's to do with the fact that I don't have a ribbon of that to match oh yes I do that'll do that'll do that'll do no it won't <sighs> oh I know what I can use oh I do know what I can use I can use black and white because we've got black and yes great okay so happy birthday Claire. today's your birthday oh not on the on the third I always feel really sorry for anyone who has a birthday this sort of time of year Claire because things tend to get smushed together my father ble well our family before my parents started away 31st of October 1st of November 3rd of November 1st of December really great and then my brother 29th of May he was all right um right okay Ooh, ooh, that's a negative no it's not it's a positive none of them are negatives no nope, none of them are negatives so I'm going to go thank you because I always need thank you cards 31st of December I went out with a guy whose birthday was on Boxing Day as in the 26th of December which was always a bit sad I thought right so I'm going to do some stamping on here as in on here before I put everything together of course I should probably have done this before I did anything else and I'm going to see so if I do thank you that'll fit so I'm going to see how well this these splodges stamp um, because I am always a little concerned as I said at the beginning with photopolymer splodges oh another not great day for a birthday but yes many happy returns so um, as ever prepping just take that finish off just in case it's there of course and I'm, for this one because it's larger I'm going to use my good quality eraser if it would care to open up thank you and because people always ask it's made by MAPED M-A-P-E-D and I don't know if they still make them because I've had this for years because I basically only use it for prepping my stamps right and I'm then going to clean them just to be on the safe side that I haven't got any eraser on there that looks all right and this one looks all right okay so I'm going to stamp second generation pool party with granny apple green on top that's what I'm going to do second generation pool party with granny apple green on wide <laughs> oh dear your cousin's 25th of December she was born on oh your due, the due date was the four well yes certainly in the UK it always used to be waited two weeks after your due date before they did any intervention for want of a better word right so this is scrap as in I've got something stamped really badly on the other side so let us see that's going to be first generation this is going to be second generation so let's see what we can do this is not a beautifully inked pool party pad so it is quite dry is what I mean and it's also got a bit of fluff on it let's try that again so it's very pale but I actually like it and then yeah 
yeah, I quite like that. It is very pale. Um, I may have to do a slightly darker second generation, as in not stamp it so well the first time. So let's ink up on this slightly wetter bit of the ink pad. Do a very quick up and down. I'm going to have the ribbon there. There is a splodge and I'm going to live with it. Four days, good grief. So this is quite splodgy and I'm fine with that. Uh, and then thank you. Can go over the top like that. It will change colour as it dries. Let's get rid of those and add our ribbon. So as ever I am going to cut it and then tie a bit. In fact, can I go round? Is it wide? Did I cut it wide enough? Ooh, just about, because I'm going to go around all the layers. So this layer is Whisper White. No, it's not. It's Basic White. So I'm going to stick that with with not with liquid adhesive. So I'm going to stick that with stamp and seal. Uh, yes, four days of four days of labour does some, seem a little excessive, but as you say, fifty four years ago. Fifty seven years ago, even is yeah, things were different. Right, so this I'm gonna stick with liquid adhesive. I know. Let's use more than one adhesive at a time. Because we can And then I've got a little, not surprise, because it's not really a surprise, but I'm going to do something a little different once I've got that sorted. And of course, we are going to need some embellishments, which I will grab momentarily. So, okay. This will be the front, just so that I've got that ready. Okay, so... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Right, seal plus. £14 and half an ounce. Good grief. Yeah, things were different back in the day. I mean, by modern standards, I was heavy because I was £8 something. Um, but things were different back then. I do remember the... <laughs> um, my church before I... Well, my, the church that I went to when I was living in northwest London, before Hubby and I got together, um, the curate's wife fell pregnant and she was tiny. I mean, there was nothing of her. Um, there was nothing much of him either. So it's not as if she married someone that was like a you know wrestler or anything. Um, but... Um, she gave birth to a 14 pound baby and I have to say it, when it was announced in church everyone including the men crossed their legs and kind of went ooh because it yeah there was nothing of her that's not even going to not like that so hello Cheryl from Florida we're having a discussion about birthdays around Christmas and other interesting times of the year um and we've we've got onto the weight of children. So I'm gonna pop this up is the you know, it's not really a surprise, but just for something a bit different. Now the great thing about this, and it's kind of the idea is based on um Bruno Batucci's scrappy strips technique. So the great thing about this is that you can use all your scraps because they are, these hexagons are so small. To wit, it's got rubbish on it now, but this sort of size piece, I mean, it's tiny. 
Right, so this is the front. It's almost straight. And let me see what I can find. I think I'm going to use up the gold bits. Could use the red, but no, I'm going to go gold because these are, you know, retiring. Uh, don't know if they're available still, but I'm working on the premise that lots of people have stuff in stock. Um, and it's quite nice to see it being used. And all I'm going to do is a little cluster around my sentiment, which I think I might come down here. Still a little triangle cluster. And that is basically the outside. I'm going to do some stamping for the inside, um, just because I can, really. Um, and I think I'm going to go with this squiggle, because it intrigues me. Forty-seven. Good grief. So my maternal, as in my mother's father, my maternal father, no, grandfather, was the youngest of 21. I would hasten to add that um, his father married twice, not at the same time. Um, so one, my maternal grandmother's, uh, grandfather's mother had, I want to say something like 18 children. They didn't all survive, but yeah. And he was the youngest. There was 30 years between him and his eldest half sibling. So yeah. Right, so I'm just going to do some stamping along the bottom. In, I think I'm going to go Granny Apple Green, just to bring that back in again. Oh, I could go. No, I'm going to go pool party. I'm going to go pool party. Changed my mind. And I'm going to bring in my scrap to go underneath so I can go off the edges. But I'm going to start kind of in the middle ish and then work out um, because that way it's going to look more balanced. Oh, I like this squiggle a lot. So yes, definitely like that squiggle. It's going to be great for grounding all sorts of little sentiments. Look at that. Love that a lot. Okay, so pop that on the inside and then we are done. And I can go and do jigsaw puzzle with my husband and be present. Um, I will try and post this in the next few days. Um, I'll do photographs and all those good things um, and pop it on my website so that it's there for you if you wish to see more close-up photos and all those things. But anyway, so there is our card. Let's just pull that a little so that it's more obvious, but black and white and black and white, just a bit of a patchwork. I mean, a bit random, but yeah. So that is our card for the day. Um, I will flip the camera up in a moment. Do remember, if you haven't already given me the old thumbs up. Um, so yes, great, great grandmother. My paternal grandmother had about 17. Don't think they all survived. A lot of them didn't. She also remarried. First husband died on the Lusitania. Good heavens. Thank you, Jan. Um, yeah, those were the days, eh? Uh, let me flip the camera up. There we go. Um, so I will be back on Thursday um, for a quick afternoon session, three o'clock UK time. Um, the Last Chance products are beginning to go. So if you want any of the Last Chance products from the retiring mini, don't forget to get those ordered. Thank you, Kay. Um, so, yes, 
Have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, whichever it is. Um, so this is today's card. I'll just pop it up there for a moment. Um, and if you really enjoyed the video, sharing is caring. Um, so yes, have a fantastic, thank you, Nora. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope to see some of you on Thursday. Um, and I think that's all I need to say. I need to get my brain back. But other than that, I think that's all I need to say. So have a fantastic day. And I will see you again, hopefully later in the week. Bye bye.